Hello, I'm David Webb, and in this video I want to show you three very different ways of applying watercolour paint to the paper to create different effects. They are wet on dry, wet into wet, and dry brush. Welcome to David Webb Art. In any painting that I may be working on, there'll be different parts of the picture which require different techniques, different uh, approaches to describe different features, different effects, different light effects, and the brush strokes I'm about to show you all produce very different results. First up then is wet on dry. I start by diluting some colour, cobalt blue, in my mixing palette and apply it directly to the dry paper with a medium sized brush. Wet on dry creates a nice, clear, uh, sharp edged brush stroke. So anything in your painting that requires uh, you to create solid forms or draw attention, then use a wet on dry brush stroke to create a hard edge. In close up, you'll see as I brush the paint down the paper, you can see this lovely hard edge to the brush stroke. Now, if you look at this small watercolour painting I've done of a church doorway, that strong dark shadow that you see cast on the door has a really sharp edge, and that was painted with the wet on dry technique. The next brush technique is wet into wet. And for this one, I start by wetting the paper with clean water using my brush. This is a totally different effect, as you'll see. And again, I am using this cobalt blue here. And when I make a brush stroke this time, you can see there's no hard edges. It's very soft and just sort of blends in. If you look at the previous brush stroke, the wet on dry, you can see how different that looks. And while it's still wet, I can work with it. I can add more color, as you can see. And you can also mix colors on the paper like this. So I'm just adding a new color. This is light red. And I'm just increasing the uh, strength of the cobalt blue there. So again, while it's still wet, I can work with it. You can see it blends lovely and soft. And I'm adding some light red now. And you can see where those two edges meet is very, very soft. And you can blend the colors in. You get some lovely mixes with this combination of cobalt blue and light red. And I use this quite often in painting skies. This technique lends itself to painting skies and atmospheric effects. We've almost got a stormy sky appearing before our eyes here. In this painting of a moorland scene, you can see I've used wet into wet extensively in the sky. The third and final technique I want to show you is dry brush. Mixing the cobalt blue and the light red together, I then use a piece of damp kitchen towel to take up the excess water from the brush. So it's just damp now. And then I make a brush stroke across the surface of the paper. The paper's dry and it works best if you use a paper with a rough surface or a not surface textured paper. And you can see this shows up the uh, broken textured look that we get. And this is what it's used for, creating texture in your paintings. I often apply it to the last stages of a painting such as in this uh, portrait of a cat sleeping. You can see where I've used it on the deck here. And also in this painting of Broadsands Beach in Devon, you can see texture added to the surface of the sand. So that's our three very different watercolour techniques, all achieved with just the one medium sized round brush. It's a good idea to practice these on a sheet of scrap paper much like I've done in this demonstration. Just keep practicing and keep practicing until it becomes second nature to you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and that you found it useful. If you did, then please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see future videos, then please don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.